Saturday's divisional game between the Seattle Seahawks and Carolina Panthers is a rematch from the Seahawks 13-9 win in late October. But both teams look very different now than they were just two months ago. The Panthers are surging with five consecutive wins, including a dominant defensive performance in their wildcard win against Arizona last week, while the Seahawks, who were really struggling to find an identity back in October, suddenly look very similar to that team that bulldozed its way through the postseason a year ago. The Seattle Seahawks defense is among the best in the NFL at making opposing offenses one-dimensional, and for a Panthers offense that has a sluggish passing game, this could be a major problem. I'm looking forward to watching Panthers rookie wide receiver Kelvin Benjamin against those Seattle defensive backs, especially cornerback Richard Sherman, who thrives in these big game type of situations. Shirley Sherman remembers the 51-yard catch that Benjamin had against him in October, and I wouldn't be surprised to see Sherman have at least one interception in this game. The Seattle Seahawks player that the Panthers need to be most concerned about is quarterback Russell Wilson, who had a ridiculous day against the Panthers two months ago, with more than 300 passing yards and more than 100 rushing yards. The Seahawks would surely like to see running back Marshawn Lynch and receivers like Doug Baldwin and Jermaine Kearse shoulder much of the workload on Saturday night but Wilson has proven over and over again just how dangerous he can be as a passer when he's in the pocket, but especially what he's able to do to keep plays alive. The Panthers defense is playing really well right now and they should give Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks some problems. But Seahawks have that championship look about them right now. And with the fact that they're playing at home and with their own really stout defense, it should be enough to send the Seahawks back to the NFC title game.